Alan Carr's Easy Way to Quit Emotional Eating, Set Yourself Free from Binge Eating and Comfort Eating, is a self-help book aimed at individuals battling with emotional eating issues. Carr, well known for his successful approach to quitting smoking, adapts his Easy Way method to tackle the complex habits of binge eating and comfort eating. The book's objective is to help readers understand the psychological triggers behind their eating behaviors and guide them to a healthier relationship with food. The premise of Carr's method is that diets and willpower are not sustainable or effective long-term solutions for emotional eating. He argues that diets often fail because they are restrictive and create a feeling of deprivation, which in turn intensifies cravings for food. Instead of focusing on what you eat, Carr emphasizes changing how you think about food. Carr begins by exploring the concept of emotional hunger, distinguishing it from physical hunger. Emotional hunger is described as a psychological need that individuals try to satisfy with food, usually triggered by emotions like boredom, stress, sadness, or even happiness. He asserts that comfort eating is an attempt to fill a void or address emotional issues with a temporary pleasure that food provides. But this pleasure is short-lived and does not address the underlying problem. The book continues by examining the reasons why people fall into patterns of emotional eating. Carr suggests that from a young age, we are conditioned to associate food with comfort through rewards, celebrations, or as a way to cope with negative feelings. This conditioning lays the groundwork for patterns that persist into adulthood, where food becomes a go-to solution for managing emotions. To break free from emotional eating, Carr encourages readers to change their mindset about food. Instead of seeing food as a reward or a source of pleasure, it should be regarded as nourishment for the body. By making this mental shift, individuals can start to question and eventually dismiss the false beliefs that drive their emotional eating. Carr introduces the concept of the big monster and little monster to explain the internal struggle individuals face. The big monster represents the deep-seated psychological reasons behind emotional eating, such as low self-esteem or unresolved emotional issues. The little monster is the physical craving for food that people experience when they're trying to change their habits. According to Carr, defeating these monsters requires understanding and dismantling the false beliefs that fuel the desire for food as an emotional crutch. One of the key components of Carr's method is to debunk the myths surrounding food and its connection to happiness. He argues that while eating can bring temporary pleasure, it doesn't lead to true happiness. Instead, relying on food for emotional fulfillment leads to feelings of guilt and loss of control, fueling a cycle of binge eating and regret. Carr suggests that one of the reasons emotional eating is so difficult to overcome is the fear of emptiness or the fear of losing a source of pleasure. However, he challenges this fear, stating that once individuals break the association between food and emotional comfort, they will find genuine freedom and satisfaction. The feeling of emptiness that some anticipate when giving up emotional eating is, in reality, replaced by a sense of control and empowerment. To assist readers in breaking free from emotional eating, Carr provides practical advice. He recommends paying attention to the body's natural hunger signals and distinguishing them from emotional cravings. Mindful eating is discussed as well, emphasizing the importance of awareness and enjoyment of the eating process without distraction. Carr dissuades the use of substitute comforters, such as switching to healthier snacks or using distraction techniques, as these methods do not address the core issues and continue to perpetuate the emotional reliance on food. Instead, he advocates for confronting the issues head-on and learning to deal with emotions without using food as a crutch. Throughout the book, Carr emphasizes that the process of overcoming emotional eating should not be one of suffering or denial. Instead, the journey should be liberating and enjoyable. By adopting a positive approach and celebrating every success along the way, individuals can recalibrate their relationship with food. The Easy Way Method proposes a gradual shift towards freedom from emotional eating. Carr encourages readers to start by simply becoming more mindful of their eating habits, identifying emotional triggers, and observing their thoughts around food. This self-awareness is key in setting the stage for a deeper change. A 
A significant aspect of the book is the assurance that willpower is unnecessary to succeed. Carr contends that once the misconceptions about food and emotional eating are unveiled and the psychological dependence on food is lifted, the need for willpower dissipates. The process becomes natural as the body and mind no longer crave the temporary comfort of food to cope with emotions. In the final sections of the book, Carr reinforces the importance of viewing the cessation of emotional eating as a positive and enriching path. The absence of the struggle against cravings and the freedom from the cycle of emotional eating are positioned as the ultimate rewards. In summary, Alan Carr's easy way to quit emotional eating offers a philosophical re-education on the role of food in one's life. It emphasizes the need to address the psychological factors underlying emotional eating and provides insights on how to shift one's perception of food from an emotional salve to a source of nourishment. By following Carr's approach, readers are encouraged to liberate themselves from emotional eating without the pain of dieting or the reliance on willpower, leading toward a healthier, happier approach to eating and living. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.